Hello, everybody. My name is Ann Green and Nauman. I'm a physical therapist here at University of Vermont Medical Center, and I work with total joint patients. What we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you some exercises that you can do in order to prepare yourself for your upcoming total knee replacement surgery. So I'm actually going to do the exercises, 10 repetitions of each one, one after another, so that if you wanted to, you could go ahead and exercise along with this video. Um, okay, so the first exercise we're gonna talk about is called a quad set. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take a towel, which I have right here, and you're gonna roll it up and put it underneath your knee. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten the muscle at the front of your thigh, pushing that towel down, and you're gonna hold it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you're gonna relax, okay? So it sometimes helps to pull your foot up when you do this also. So here we go, number two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax, okay? Here comes number three, two, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and relax. And number four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And again, number five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And number six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And number seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when you're doing this, you'll see that also my cheek muscles are contracting, but you should also see the muscle in the front of your thigh tighten. So if all you're getting is your cheek, you're not quite getting it right. So you want to think about really squishing that towel down because that tightens this muscle up right here. All right, I think we're on number seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're gonna relax. And on number eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, and now we're on number nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And again, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you're having trouble getting your muscle to contract because you're it, because sometimes people forget how to make this muscle work, try doing it with the other leg at the same time and that may help, help you to do it, okay? All right, next exercise we're gonna do is called a straight leg raise. So what you're gonna do is lay down on your back. You're gonna have your um, affected leg uh, straight and your other leg bent. You're going to pull your, um, your foot up so that your toes are coming up towards your head and then you're going to lift your leg up, hold two, three, and down. We're going to do ten of those. So there's one and two and three and four. See how I have my foot pulled up and five. Six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three, nine, two, three, and ten, two, three. If that, after doing that, you're feeling like your muscles are tired, great, you can stop there. If you're feeling like, well, that wasn't so bad, I've got some more in me, then think about coming up like I am right now, so you're resting on your elbows. Um, you're gonna leave your, your knee bent, you're gonna pull your foot up towards your head, and again, two, three, and down. There's one, and there's two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. Okay, again, if you're feeling like, wow, I'm really pooped after that, that you can stop right there. If you're feeling like, oh, I still have some more and I'd like to work a little harder, you can sit all the way up. This will be the hardest one. You may not lift your leg as high and you don't need to keep the other knee bent. So you're gonna tighten your muscle, pull your foot back, hold one, two, three, and down. There's one, and there's two. This is the hardest one. There's three, four, so you may have to work up to it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect, okay, so I'm really feeling that right up in here, and that's okay because that means I really work that muscle. Okay, next exercise that we're going to do is called a bridge exercise, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay flat on your back. It's good that that pillow fell off because I'm not gonna need it. You're gonna have both knees bent, your feet flat on the bed, put your hands down by your sides, push down with your hands and pick your rear up. Hold, two, three, and down. There's one. Hold, two, three, two. Hold, two, three. There's three. Hold, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, five. You're, what you're going for is to have a straight line from your shoulders up to your knees. And there's six and seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay? So that strengthens your tummy muscles, your quads, your hamstrings, your butt muscles, and your back muscles. So it's a lot of bang for our buck in terms of exercise, all right? So then if you wanna do something a little harder, if you pick your butt up and then kick one leg straight, then the other leg straight, then put your butt down. That's one. Up, kick, kick, down. Two, up, kick, kick, down. Three, up, kick, kick, down. Four, up, kick, kick, down five. If you feel like that's too hard for you, that's okay. Don't start with that one. Just do the regular one like this, okay? All right, I'm up to six. Kick, kick, down, kick, kick, down. I think this is eight. Kick, kick, down, kick, kick, down. That's nine and kick, kick, down, and 10. All right, great, okay. All right, next exercise we're gonna do is for the muscles on the, in the butt, the deep glute muscles, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your side and you wanna lay so that you are, um, you have your top hip in front of your bottom hip. So if you think about this line from one hip bone to the other, I want my top one forward and my bottom one. I don't want to be back here like this, okay? So I want to be a little bit forward. Then I'm going to get my top leg back behind me. And now I'm going to lift my leg up and back. Two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. So my bottom leg is bent. Up, two, three, and down. That's three. And again, up, two, three, and down. Four people ask, should I point my toe? Should I keep it forward? Doesn't really matter. This is number five, and down. It's easy as you're doing this to kind of cheat, and the way you cheat is to kind of roll back like this. That's a no-no. You want to keep that hip forward, and I can tell I'm doing it right because I can feel it right here. If I feel it down here or here, I'm not doing it as much. I want to feel it kind of deep in my butt muscles. Okay, I think we're on six here. Seven, eight. Another way that people treat, cheat is they kind of let their leg come forward 
that's actually easier. So we want your leg behind you. This is number nine and number 10, okay? So that is called hip abduction or hip abduction, okay? Okay, this next exercise is called a knee extension exercise. So I'm sitting on my table, I've got my feet hanging down, and I'm gonna kick my leg up straight, hold, two, three, and down. So this is using the muscles on the front of my thigh, the quad muscles. So here we go, up, two, three, and down. That's two, up, two, three, and down. There's three, up, two, three, and down, four, up, two, three, and down, five, up, two, three, and down, six, up, two, three, and down, seven, up, two, three, and down, eight, up, two, three, and down, nine, up, two, three, and down, 10. Sometimes this exercise aggravates people's knees. If you're finding that it's aggravating your knee, try kicking your leg halfway up, so to about a 45 degree angle, and then down. So we're going, starting here at a 90 degree bend, and we're going halfway up, holding two, three, and down. So that often is better in terms of not aggravating the knee. So if you find that your knee is aching after you do that exercise where you're kicking all the way up, then try going just halfway up. You can also make the, either one of those exercises harder by adding either a weight to your ankle or putting a band around your foot that you kick up. And I show that on the um, exercise handout. Okay? Great. Okay, this next exercise is called a chair squat. And what you're going to do, I have my chair right here. And I'm going to start by putting a pillow on my chair so that um, it's going to be a little bit easier. And I'm going to stand in front of my chair. I'm going to have equal weight on both feet. And then I'm going to sit down and just touch my butt to the chair and then come back up. That's one. And two. And three. And four. Equal weight on both feet, both feet even with each other. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. If that seems like it's really hard or it's hurting your knees, try adding a couple of pillows onto your chair so you don't have as far down to go. So you can see I don't have to go as far and I can still do that exercise. So that's a way to do that one. Okay, this next exercise we're going to do with a band. So I have this long band and I put a loop in one end of it right here. And then in the other hand, end, I'm going to put a knot. All right, and then I, I'm going to close this band. I have a door here. I'm going to close my band in the door. And make sure the door clicks. Then I'm going to sit and I'm going to put my band around my foot like this, and then I'm going to pull my knee bent like this. Just turn that a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so here I am, I've got my knee straight, and now I'm bending, I'm gonna hold it, two, three, there's one, hold, two, three, there's two, hold, two, three, three, hold, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so that's working the muscles in the back of my thigh. All right? If you don't have a band, there's an alternate way to do it that I'm going to show you next. One and two. You can do both legs if you like at the same time. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. You can also add a two, two to five pound weight onto your ankle to make that a little harder.
Okay, our next exercise is for the muscles in the rear. It's another way to do that, uh, that exercise that we did laying down. So I have this band that I'm gonna take and I'm gonna step into the band like this. And I'm gonna walk sideways down the hallway with this band. So when I do that, I'm gonna, for the first set, I'm gonna keep my knees straight. I'm gonna step to the side and then I'm gonna keep tension on the band all the time. So I'm not gonna let it go slack like that. I'm gonna step and then keep tension on it. And I'm gonna go all the way down the hall till I do about 15 steps. So as I do that, I am keeping my feet pointed straight ahead. I'm not letting them turn. And I am um, not dragging my back foot. And again, I'm not letting that band go slack, all right? And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna come back the other way. So same thing, just stepping, keeping that band tight. And I'm gonna do my 15 steps, one direction and then the other direction. Okay, great. And now, once I've done that, I'm gonna do the same thing again with my knees bent. So I'm gonna bend down and put my hands on my knees. Same thing, feet straight ahead, band taut, um, not letting my feet turn. I'm gonna step, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna stop at 10 here. All right, and now I'm gonna come back the other way. So I'm gonna go the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're feeling that in your rear and in your quad muscles, you're doing it great. Great job. So that's a group of exercises that you can use to help you get prepared for your upcoming surgery. Probably you're gonna not wanna start with them all at the same time. I would start with the first four exercises, see how that goes, and then gradually add them one at a time. Start with 10 repetitions, one time per day. Once you can do all the exercises, then go ahead and try doing them twice a day. If your knee gets sore, um, you can go back to doing them once a day. You can also try an ice pack on the, your knee. If you use it, an ice pack on the front and the back of your knee for 15 minutes or so after exercise, that will help to calm it down. Last, we would like to strongly encourage you to walk as much as you can and to use a cane or a walker if that means that you can walk. If you have any questions, feel free to give a call. Um, you can feel free to call us at 802-847-7910. We are happy to be a resource for you. Okay. Happy exercising. Good luck.